Hi, this is uh, James Gomez and many greetings to TOC readers. Uh, I want to inform you, friends, that uh, I had an interesting two years at International Idea in Stockholm, Sweden. Um, my projects there dealt with three countries. They were Sudan, Colombia and uh, Nepal, where I worked with uh, political parties in post-conflict societies. Essentially, my job was doing research and training for political parties making the transition into a period of peace. I've since uh, finished the project in Stockholm and in fact, in first March, I have moved to Tokyo. I'm now visiting scholar at the Department of Political Science at Keio University at the Mita campus in Tokyo, Japan. Um, I will be based there for the next uh, month, uh, undertaking a project uh, to set up an Asian Democracy Institute. The Japanese currently are considering setting up a uh, democracy promotion agency uh, in Japan, and this project based in Keio University is to provide some intellectual input into how such an institute could be set up. The Asian Democracy Institute project essentially is a regional project is it, it's supposed to play a professional and supporting role uh, for political NGOs in the region. Many political NGOs in the region are advocacy groups. However, they do not have a professional uh, support in terms of research, training and evaluation. So this could be seen as a think tank for NGOs. So uh, it, it, it's an uh, early days. Uh, we hope to run a series of consultations and I hope to run a public consultation to get the Singapore input to this institute, hopefully also uh, in October uh, this year. Because this is uh, the development of a concept, no, there are no programs at the moment. Essentially, we are mapping uh, what are the democracy needs in the region to find out what are the holes, and we will then propose setting up an institute that could develop some programs. And because Asia is wide and, and, and the democratic themes are varied, uh, these programs then will be uh, uh, implemented. Uh, this May Day week, I'm in Singapore, uh, mainly because it was my mother's birthday and also taking uh, advantage of the May Day uh, festivities to call in on a series of political friends. I had the opportunity this week to participate in a couple of political party public activities. I also had a chance to meet up with civil society uh, activists, internet forumers and academics. Uh, this intense one week of uh, political networking revealed two things to me. Uh, youth and internet are the upcoming political variables that will be very important to watch in the uh, run up to the next general elections in Singapore. Uh, I too have dabbled in the internet uh, in the past. Uh, I also took this opportunity uh, uh, to Singapore uh, to look into revamping uh, my website. Currently I have a Facebook account uh, and uh, jamesgomeznews.com website. I'm trying to integrate uh, some of these features into a more uh, streamlined blog that would incorporate elements of the blog, uh, Facebook as well as Twitter and to see how that can help work uh, toward politics. I hope to make uh, more frequent visits to Singapore uh, starting October uh, this year, uh, leading up to an eventual return to Singapore. Um, I expect to remain engaged online in the interim, uh, but uh, looking towards uh, after October to be also involved in more offline activities on the ground. This afternoon, I was at the uh, Workers' Party uh, Youth Forum and the topic was whether the election uh, uh, or the voting age during election should be lowered to 18. And I think there were very uh, interesting ideas thrown up, all uh, supporting uh, a revision uh, of the lowering of age to 18. And I think uh, this offers uh, interesting viewpoints uh, to be taken on board uh, on the next uh, review of the Workers' Party Manifesto. That's all I have uh, for you today, uh, friends from TOC. Uh, hopefully, uh, I'll have a chance to say hello again.